Hello everyone, welcome back to my let's play of Alan Wake. So last time we we escaped from this uh, asylum or something because darkness took over for some reason. Um, I, I guess it's because it. Wow. There's like a, a weird fire inside or something. The weird. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Oh, thank you. Uh, wow, wow. This looks like something out of um, uh, Goosebumps. Whoa, ah, uh, that was so close. Okay, uh, uh, these, these, um, oh, there's another one. Whoa. These things are quite easier to... to do. Oh my god. These are easier to deal with because... Well... You don't need to shoot them after you take out their armor. Uh, I guess you can't... Yeah. This one goes down even being like this. We... There are some bullets there, I can see them. Oh, okay, not bullets, just flares. Hello, oh, good enough, I guess. Uh, do we have to go into the, the maze? Oh, yeah, we do. Uh oh. This is a bit unsettling because I don't know why. It, uh oh. Oh, it doesn't matter. we have a gun. I, 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 when did you get a gun? I don't remember picking one, picking one up. Oh well. As long as these guys are the only thing around here, uh, it will be easy. Wait, oh. <laughs> He's one of those Slav guys. It's so weird, they, they don't fit in these environments. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-size stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including the dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Yeah, uh, this is the best part of the game, by the way. This um, this part, the, 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 the page is telling about. It's my favorite part of the game, and I bet a lot of people uh, think the same. So yeah, it's it's really cool that music. It's amazing. Of course they are. But where? Huh. You don't didn't need to do the, the slow motion camera, dude. Oh well. Uh. Whoa. Oh no, it's a big one. <laughs> I really hate these guys. Oh, yeah, we did it. <laughs> With some luck, but we did it. Okay. Uh, can we? Yes, we can. Good. I heard someone bubbling about something. Uh, well. Oh, there are a lot of crows there. Uh, really weird. This is. A <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, 
so this is all the like the gardens of that um... oh it's that guy oh I don't care if he's um... if he's taken by darkness or something it's so satisfying to kill this fucking guy oh that was this is this one be easy Let's we peace. It recovers. How the fuck do we? Fuck. This is not easy. I mean, uh, I need to focus on two things at the same time. Uh, but I oh, no more. Uh oh. Wow, this this will not be easy. Come on. Okay, the art part is done. Is okay. As soon as you like uh, do this part, that. To take away the, the the armor, the darkness thing here on them. After you do that, uh, it's done. It's it's pretty much done. Okay, so we killed that guy. Finally, we are going to. I have no idea. We are going to escape, I think. But yeah, uh, this all this place is like the gardens of that uh, asylum. And uh, wow, it's quite big actually. Expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife, the thought made him shiver. I don't remember who is Mott. Is it the the, the the police officer? I don't quite remember. Anyway, so th this is um, all of this is the garden from the, the asylum, and oh wow, it's huge. It looks like the garden of uh, some kind of a mansion, not an asylum. Oh! Well, that slow motion did help me. Okay, we need bullets now. I still don't know what the darkness wants from me. I mean, uh, uh, what did I do in the past to anger that something uh, weird? Uh, I mean, so far we like okay, we oh. I did away, but apparently it was not fast enough. Okay, uh, so so far we we have been seeing you know the the, the, the motives of oh there was something on this page. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at them from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Okay, so Barry is in trouble. Uh, so yeah, so far we, we only saw um, the motives of... Uh, oh, there's something there. Emil made Tom do it. Fuck, that, that name Emil is... Uh, I don't remember who he, t who he is. Uh, I remember the name, but I don't remember where from. Anyway, so yeah, so far we will see motives of the, the people, for example, the Artman and people with 
like um, envy or jealousness or something. Whoa. <laughs> Of course. What are those people? They are not dressed as um, as people from this town. Are they like uh, people from the past or something? Uh, they 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 have a weird attire. Huh. Yeah, it's some motives for uh, a lot of people, but. Not yet from the darkness itself. I mean, the darkness uh, being that old lady, I think. And uh, maybe the, the old lady is the wife that died from that uh, in the past in that island. I don't know. But of course, it doesn't help that uh, I started recording this game a long, long time ago. There are things about the story that uh, I don't remember because it was so many time ago. So, do I need to go there? I guess, no? Wait. Yes, we need to go there. Okay. Yeah, but uh, so far I quite remember the, the like the, the basics, the most important thing is. Uh, but not everything. There are still crows there. Checkpoints. Hmm. I think I, I forgot the thermos back there. I need a boss fight, but uh, well, I, I don't care. Unless there is some kind of uh, secret ending that explains a bit more, uh, I don't care. Oh, there is a page there, I think. Okay. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom went. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Okay, so apparently this Tom guy um, has something to do with the story because he was also in the clinic. Um, apparently something... Something like this happened to him too, uh, because of that uh, wall writings we saw before. Um, so yeah, and uh, that hard thingy. I think Tom is the husband of that old lady, the of the darkness or something. Pretty sure. Of course. Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the Mansky showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so. Oh well. Bear is like with that friend that it's really nice, but um Hurry up, Barry. I'm on it. I'm on it. Hate these guys really hate these things. What are you doing here? This is not your party. <laughs> oh, those guys trying to join the fun, but... Okay, I guess I'm, I'm starting to get a bit better in this dodging thingy. Oh. Oh, damn it, Barry! Finally. Yes. Whoa. I guess it's okay. Yay. Please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. 
We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. Oh, that's the, the, the good, the, where the good, good, the good stuff happens. True. If we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. That's quite sad, but uh, well. Apparently, there was something in that asylum, not only us. But uh, the darkness tried to to completely destroy it. But yeah, I bet he's had something with the Tom guy. I don't know. Crazy, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice. They never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Ow! How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can. Ow! I. No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before, it happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down, that's a fact. I'm on board, man, I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Okay, another car crash. So, God damn it, talk to me. I am alive. Barely, but alive. Okay. I lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. I guess it's okay. Uh, so, I'll end the video here. And uh, as you guys saw in this little cutscene, a lot of the story is starting to come together and starting to make a bit of sense. And how did I not realize Tom is Thomas Zane? How? He, he talked about it so many times in that TV thingy. Uh, it was like the, the writer that gave him inspiration and stuff. And I didn't, didn't connect the dots. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah. Uh, uh, this last cutscene, we finally uh, got some logical sense thingy into the story. Now, we kind of know what's happening now. So, finally, finally something happens to connect all the dots and make sense of this, this story. And now that's kind of right. The, the Alice seems uh, like in the other side, uh, in the lake. Uh, I was kind of right about that. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, finally <laughs> something that clarifies everything, kind of, I, I wish at least. So yeah, next time we are going to the, the Anderson's farm. Uh, I don't know who the Andersons are, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm sorry about that, I forgot. Uh, so yeah, uh, wow, I, I think the game is close to an end. I don't know, I don't, as I told you guys many many times before, I don't remember, uh, but yeah, I think the, the farm is like the last, um, the last uh, part of the game, I don't remember, so yeah. So anyway guys, uh, have a good morning, good day, or good night, and I'll see you all next time, bye bye.